North Korean leader Kim Jong-un may be preparing his potential successor based on the sudden prominence of his daughter, Jue. But that doesn't mean he's facing a health crisis. Kim's been the subject of health rumors for years, despite his relatively young age. Still, only around 40, the North's leaders known for his history of heavy smoking and weight fluctuations, as well as for lengthy absences from the public eye. One of the longest of which was this year, ahead of last week's vast military parade, marking the 75th anniversary of the founding of the North's armed forces. And while he did appear at the parade, he didn't join other senior officials in delivering a speech there, raising fresh questions over his condition. Yet South Korea's assessment is that there's no indication Kim has any serious health problems. This information came to us via Seoul's Unification Ministry, as an unnamed official there addressed reporters at the South's government complex Thursday. But the health of the nation more generally seems to be another matter. Seoul's view is that North Korea's food situation appears to be worsening, even if it's not yet apparently at the level of mass starvation, such as the country witnessed during the 1990s. And this ministry official added, there are signs that North Korean authorities have been seeking to tighten state control on food supply since late last year. The situation's said to have been created by a number of entwined factors. The state's mismanagement of grain supply, global sanctions, pandemic lockdowns, and unfavorable weather hurting harvests. Meanwhile, North Korea has conducted a massive reshuffle, according to Seoul's Unification Ministry, even though there's still no indication that the leader's sister, Kim Yo-jong, has been demoted, despite being overshadowed in state media coverage by her niece, Jue. She appears to be still holding her post as a member of the North's State Affairs Commission, but as of February 3rd, the North had replaced more than 40% of Politburo officials from the ruling Workers' Party and more than 60% of party secretariat officials compared with a year earlier. If we consider more closely the latest organizational chart of North Korea's leadership released by the ministry, Pyongyang seems to be elevating the status of party departments in charge of social control and propaganda projects. And Seoul's view is that this ideological focus is aimed at tightening Kim Jong-un's grip on long-term power.